Hello, this is Lavender Lightworker. Um, I'm going to be doing a collective reading um, to see what my collective needs to... A timeless collective reading. All right, these are the decks I'm going to use. Um, I'm a little sick, so we're going we're gonna to go with the flow, okay? What does my collective need to know? What does, it, what does my collective need to know right now? <clears throat> Alright, show me what does my collective need to know, please and thank you. What does my collective need to know, please and thank you. Thank you, sir. For the highest good. Please and thank you. I'm going to collect the things I know. Okay. I don't even think those were supposed to be upside down, but they are. So I have to leave them that way because the rest of the deck is upright. So they were they meant to come up so so off top i'm seeing we have the queen of pentacles in reverse i have the five of wands in reverse and i have the queen of cups in reverse so i'm seeing several messages i'm seeing someone not knowing their their worth or someone being worried about i've seen a lot of wow okay i'm seeing to stop being over emotional and worrying about financial situations in a in a in in, in conflict like let go of the conflict let go of the need to feel like you're not able to provide um let go of the emotional distress they want you to block all of that they want you to block the the anything that feels like competitive going against the the grain energy they want you to block it anything that feels unstable to your emotional well-being they want you to block it Anything that feels like it's not for good for your health or your stability or your income, they want you to block it. Okay? Yeah, okay. So, let's see how these flow out. And then we have, upside down, the Queen of Wands. And the death is upside upside down as well. With the hangman upside down. So the middle of so all of the cards except for the seven of wands, and I'll put this one here, and the hangman are upside down. And the only major arcana in the deck is the death and the hangman. So, based off the major arcana, I'm seeing that it's taken a long time and someone's been looking at a different perspective about a transformation that has taken too long. Someone wasn't very confident or isn't very confident about a, tr a trans a transformation that's happened recently or that's happening now, an ongoing transformation. And now they're starting to linger in a place where they're starting to actually look back and say, oh, that's why that happened. Oh, now I understand. Okay. So, because of this 
um, hangman energy here, being upright, even though he's hanging upside down. It's a sacrifice. So someone had to go through a sacrifice that, um, okay, so here, here's what I see. Someone either spent a lot of money, went through, um, some major instability with, with health as well. Um, and once they let go of, you know, allowing other parties or conflict and as well as the, they went through this horrible situation with emotional upheaval, just, just sadness, not, not using their intuition when they finally blocked that. Something was blocking all of this, by the way. Um, they, they weren't very confident about this transformation. Okay, so that's what I have there. But let me make this more clear. Um, at the bottom of the deck, I have... This has something to do with memories of the past with a possible cancer, uh, Pisces or Scorpio, or just positive feelings. And secrets or sometimes a fear about commitment and someone needing to rest and contemplate on something that made them depressed about some deception that happened but this deception that happened all together someone finally blocked it the ancestors blocked it you blocked it multiple people blocked it by it took a while for this transformation to happen, but due to this deception that happened, now there's hope. Now there's hope. And, and now it's time to heal. And now here comes the stability, the, the, the money, the time, the energy, and the, the, the bigger. So basically you went through all of this that took a long time for you to see things from a different perspective and understand that you had to go through this transformation to get to this gift from, from the gods that you're going to celebrate with. Yeah, celebration's coming. You had to stay strong. You, you were blinded to why all of this happened. You were blinded to why it happened. There was, look, this is random. All my cards are upright. And then this, this, somebody didn't have their boundaries up, but I'm also picking up there was a very narcissistic, over controlling person involved, multiple possibly people that were controlled and they had you blinded. But you've stopped that. that this cycle is over. That's what I have for that. Okay. So. All together, what I'm channeling is you're going through a transformation. It took a while for you to see it. You went through a lot of chaos with money, feelings, emotions, fighting. But that's all stopped now. And Dude, you're seeing everything in a different perspective now. You've stopped. You've stopped all of the uneasiness, and now you see everything as a, in a different. You you you've waited long enough, and you see things in a different perspective. But what I will do, because I don't know why I almost stopped the reading there, but I'm gonna clarify for you. Okay, show me what is this? What is this? Let me see. The devil energy peeked out at me, but it didn't come out. But let's see. Show me this hangman. What is this hangman? <laughs> hey, I'm sick, but this is what you get when I'm sick. <laughs> Show me this hangman energy.
Usually they come out by now. Maybe. Okay. So, so, once again, all my cards are upright, but that came out upside down. So, someone put their guard down and stopped blocking the situation by just surrendering. Basically, basically, collective, once you surrender, or now that you've surrendered, and understanding that there's a transformation coming... And you put your guard down and allow the universe to protect you their way, not your way. You basically, yeah, the universe is working behind your back. You just need to surrender. You need to surrender. Just sit back. You're going to see why this is all taking place. There's a bunch of bull crap going on in the background. At first, you might have been trying to stop it, but all of this is happening in your favor. It's something you're not able to see right now, okay? But you're being divinely protected. Let me see, what is this death in reverse? Show me more, please and thank you. What is this death in reverse? So I'm seeing that it was just really heavy, passionate energy, a very passionate transformation that felt like a burden to you. It was like you felt the pressure to change, to 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 do something drastic to move forward. And it involved not speaking to someone or cutting off someone that was verbally abusive um, for some of you. And the, the challenge in that was, at the end of the day, it, it's your wish fulfillment. You're better off not speaking to someone. You're better off, even though this transformation is, is heavy for you, it's a heavy energy, it's hard, it, but it's, it's for the best. It's gonna, you're gonna end up eating good, you're going to end up on top once you stop speaking. I'm, I'm picking up narcissists in your life. Okay, so I, I'm going to stop this here because the message is very clear. You There's things going on in the background that you're not aware of. Um, and it seems so chaotic because, like I said, you're, you're all over the place with your emotions. It seems like the fighting that's happening, you're not even seeing that... There's there's ancestors and spirit guides fighting in the background on your behalf and you don't even see it. You don't even see it. You don't see it. But it's happening. And you just need to not block it. But they're stopping people from harming you. And they're causing a transformation for you. You just need to surrender to it. Allow them to protect you and know that you're not going to see everything. Put your guard down. Okay? Yes, you're not going to see everything. You're not going to see everything. But you're protected. The truth, you're protected. It's divine timing for this battle to stop. Yeah, it's over. You're going to be able to plan to move forward. It's going to be, the decision is going to be in your favor. Yeah. All right. Um, this is Lavender Lightworker. Please comment below if you resonate. Um, thank you.